Now for news abuse, CNN's descent from news organization to political campaign is nearly complete. Last week, the channel published a story linking Trump ally Anthony Scaramucci to a Russia-controlled investment fund they said was being investigated by the Senate. And yet on Friday, CNN had to apologize to Scaramucci, which they did. They retracted the story completely and admitted it did not meet CNN's editorial standards. And that's saying something. Tonight, three reporters who worked on the piece resigned their jobs. At least one of them, a guy called Eric Lichtblau, who was at the New York Times, had worked on another CNN piece earlier this month about Trump. That piece also turned out to be false. You remember it, maybe, when CNN told us that Jim Comey, the former FBI director, was going to come before the Senate and contradict the president's claim that he was not under investigation. And Comey had told him so. That's what CNN told us. It turned out to be untrue and provably so. Lichtblau helped write that one, too. He may go back to the New York Times where he came from in April. We'll see. It's been seven months, though, since Trump won the presidential election. Since then, precisely no evidence has emerged to support the claim that Trump somehow colluded with the Russian government in order to win the race. But you'd never know that from watching that channel, which has become home for conspiracists on the Russia question worldwide. Last February, to name yet another example, CNN produced a story accusing Trump associates of repeated contacts with Russian intelligence. That report turned out to be almost identical to a report by the New York Times that Jim Comey called out specifically for being grossly inaccurate. We could go on and on and on. Overall, 93% of CNN's coverage of the Trump administration has been negative. 93%. Idi Amin would get more balanced coverage. Anybody would. Fidel Castro certainly has. CNN, in other words, is no longer just a news organization. It is a campaign with a political mission run, not surprisingly, by a man named Jeff Zucker, who once expressed interest in running for office himself. Like any campaign, it is great at some things, pushing a message, hurting its opponents, and not so good at others, like reporting the news. This is a change. How did it happen? Cheryl